Good evening, everyone. How are you doing? <laughs> Is everybody okay? Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing, guys? Are you okay? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you doing, Marcos? I'm fine. Great. That's great. Okay, everyone. Uh, what did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? Okay, Dami. What did you do last weekend? Lucia, do you work on Hello. Saturdays? Do you work on Saturdays? Do you work on Saturdays? No. No. So you have the no. weekend off. Great. You have the weekend off. Weekend off mm. tiene el fin de semana libre. The weekend off. Yeah? Yes, yes. Okay, great. Carla Maria, do you work on Saturdays? No, I don't no? work. Oh, thank God. Great. So you work from Monday through Friday? Yes. Great. Kenny, what did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? Good evening, teacher. Guys. Good evening, Kenny. Sorry, teacher. No problem. <laughs> Repeat, Go ahead. Please. What did you do last weekend? I uh, I did. No sé cómo se dice descansar, teacher. I rested. Descansé. I rested. I, or I took a rest. I took a rest. Remember, past tense, right? Past tense. Hello, Raquel. Yeah. Carla, Raquel. How are you doing? What did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? Saturday and... Did you work? <laughs> Did you work? Did no. you work on Saturday? No. No? Okay. No. So you don't go, I mean, you don't work on weekends. Did you Monday, go out? Monday and Friday. Excellent. You work from Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday. Great. Great. It is Marina. What did you do last weekend? Hello, teacher. Hello, it is. <laughs> Welcome. What did you do <laughs> last weekend? Oh, the, okay. No problem. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just listening. Great. Uh, let's see. Hello, Jessica. How are you doing? Hello, teacher. How are you tonight? I'm fine, teacher. Great. Do you work on Saturdays? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, only I do. Saturday. Oh, okay. Yes, I do. Mm. Yes, I do. Great, great. Okay, so you um, have only the Sundays off. Yes. Okay. okay. Yes, I do. And do you work uh, the whole day or part of the day? The whole day. Oh, oh, Saturday. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Great. That's part of the job. Great. Okay, guys, uh, just let me call the roll and we are going to start the class for tonight. Remember that tonight we have just to practice all the vocabulary from unit two. Okay. Uh, I sent a song. I sent a song. A ver, envié. 
una canción. Did you hear the song? Por ahí por el WhatsApp les mandé una canción. I sent a song. Okay, just let me call the roll and we are going to talk about that song. Please remember to turn on your cameras and please stay present when I call your name. I call you. Okay, here we are. Carolibe Chavez Reyes. Delmi Guadalupe Martínez Marroquín. Ok, thank you, Caro. Estela Mabel Orellana de Del Cid. Guadalupe Yamilet Salazar de Aguilar. Iliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Reading teacher present. Ok, great. Good evening. Um, let's see. It is Marina Portillo de Reyes. It is Janet Barrera Herrera. Good evening. Present. Good evening, it is Jessica El Carmen Vasquez Vasquez. Present. Okay. Jorge Antonio Feliciano Rivera. Jose Mauricio García Hernández. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Kenny Lisette Cuellar de Barrientos. Present teacher. Laura Margarita Claros de Hernández. Laura Margarita Claros de Hernández. Present. Ok, Laura. Lucía Azucena Chica de Claros. Present teacher. Ok. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Yes, teacher. Ok. María Luz Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Good. Marta Lidia Godínez. Sandra Patricia Marroquín Loay. Sonia Evelyn Iraeta de Gómez. Present teacher. Yulisa Raquel Cruz García. Yulisa Raquel Cruz García. I remember Yulisa was in. Lisset del Carmen Hernández Mismit. Present teacher. Carla María Ayala de Vázquez. Present. Carla Raquel Mendoza Hernández. Present teacher. Okay, good. So we are starting tonight with this unit review. Do you remember the song that I sent? What, what's the title of the song? ¿Cómo se llama la canción que les mandé? Is Elvis Presley? Yes, Elvis Presley's song. Yes, uh huh. He's the singer. And return to Sander. Return to Sander. Yes, that one. That one. Okay. A ver, levanten la mano. ¿Cuántos lo oyeron? Pongan en las reacciones ahí todos los que le escucharon. Raise your hand if you hear the song. If you heard it. Okay, then let's go to the WhatsApp and listen to the song, okay? Listen to the song. I cannot play it here, so you have to listen it by yourselves. So please do. Short song.
Okay. A ver, ¿ya la escucharon? Did you hear the song already? Es bien cortita. It's a short song. Okay, good. So what is the idea? What is these guys saying? So let me share the screen with you. Okay. But the, uh, okay. On the chat first, let's go to the chat. Okay. And I'm going to ask some questions. The idea here is that we are going to use the simple past to tell stories. Remember the simple past is the uh, tense more um, used because we are always telling things that happened in the past. We are always telling stories. So uh, we're going to think about. A ver, de lo que escucharon. De qué se trata la canción? What is this song about? What does return to sender mean? Que significa return to sender? What is return to sender? What is sender? ¿Qué es un sender? You send letters, you send emails, you send uh, text messages, mm -hmm. okay? So what is a sender? Mm -hmm. the... Go ahead, Kenny. Small talk. Small talk? Okay, well, in this case, I think yeah, yeah, that yeah. this woman doesn't want to have any kind of talk, <laughs> right? Es como devolver, but... Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, la primera pista, a letter uh -huh, is written, right? Contemos, veamos la historia de esta canción. A letter is written, right? Are they talking about a letter? Is this guy talking about a letter? Él está hablando de una carta, ¿verdad? He is talking about a letter. Yes? Who wrote that letter? Who? wrote that letter the girlfriend okay who wrote the letter okay mm -hmm. the recipient was his girlfriend right mm -hmm. but who wrote the letter elvis yes he did right he did. Okay, he wrote the letter. He wrote the letter. And he's telling a story. What happened with this letter? ¿Qué pasó con esta carta? What happened with this letter? A ver. Regresaron al remitente. Aha, correct, correct. This letter was sent back, okay? It was returned to the sender, okay? It was returned to the sender. So uh, what do you think this girl didn't want to receive this letter? Why? Why do you think this girlfriend or his girlfriend didn't want to receive the letter? Mm -hmm. Why, guys?
Why didn't she receive the letter? Why didn't she receive the letter? It is Janet. Lian. I sent the lyrics. Para que lean que fue y tengan mayor entendimiento de lo que pasó. Mm -hmm. Ok, entonces vamos a dejar esta actividad hasta aquí y ustedes la escuchan, leen la letra y mañana la platicamos. Ok. What's the idea here? We want to tell a story. Okay. Queremos contar una historia o contar algo que le pasó a alguien. To tell a story, like an anecdote, right? Como una anécdota. Eso es lo que queremos hacer. So, esto fue nada más introductorio. So, let's go. And I just uh, want to go back to the beginning. And let me please show you what is this class about okay the topic for tonight is review and practice of unit two all the topics of unit two all the vocabulary of two, unit two you remember what is the topic for unit two como se llama la unidad dos what is the topic of unit two so, socializing, remember? Socializando, socializing. Okay. Vamos bien hasta aquí? So, we are going to start with this feedback. We started with this feedback. It was just a speaking activity. We wanted to listen, okay, and then tell the story, what happened, okay? Ahora vamos a ir a hacer otra actividad que también es a reading listening para contar otra historia. Pero esto ya más enfocado en nuestro trabajo o al trabajo. Okay. Uh, luego de que pasemos esa actividad, vamos a volver a unas palabras que necesitamos traer a nuestra memoria. We are going to recall vocabulary. After that, we have a reading activity that we have in the book. And then we go to the breakout room and we are going to exchange business cards, okay? We are going to exchange business cards using a short conversation, like a small talk, okay? Then uh, we are gonna do a self-assessment and uh, the session one-to-one -one for today is Julio's turn, okay? So Julio Cesar Ramirez Arevalo es el turno ahora. What date is it today? What date is today? January. January, it's February. February, <laughs> I'm sorry. It was my mistake, okay? February. Yo sigo escribiendo Así, todavía no me acostumbro al 2022. Y había escrito 2021. I'm sorry, guys. I'm still getting used to this. Okay. February. 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 Seven. The 7th Seven. of um, 2022. Okay, everybody, please, I want to hear you saying the date. Vamos, empecemos todos diciendo la fecha. Today is, today is, today is February, 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 the 7th, the 7th, 7th, 7th of, of, of 2022. 2022. Okay then, uh, what day is today? What day, day, day? What day is Monday. today? Monday. It's Monday. Excellent. It's Monday or today is Monday, okay? 
Y cuando ponemos el día va antes que todo. Today is Monday, February the 7th of 2022 or 2022. Okay, then let's go then and let's jump into the review. Okay, this review has the objective or the main goal for tonight is that you are going to assess yourselves, your own comprehension and application of vocabulary used during the unit them. okay? ¿Qué quiere decir? Que el día de ahora el mayor objetivo es que ustedes apliquen y que ustedes se consideren cómo van en el aprendizaje de todo lo que vimos ahora en unidad 2. ¿Ok? So, uh, let me see. Please, uh, Carol Yvette, can you read the objective for tonight? Repeat, please. Can you please read the objective? Uh, okay, okay. The class will be uh, to ask, assess, assess their compression and application of vocabulary used during the unit ten. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, so that's our goal for tonight. And we were talking about this song, right? Re remember, ustedes la van a escuchar y van a leer la letra, okay? Y luego vamos a venir a hacer esta actividad del día de mañana, okay? So let's go to talk about another story, okay? La idea es que podamos socializar, que podamos platicar, hablar de los eventos a los que hemos asistido. So the idea is to talk about experiences using, using the past simple or the simple past tense. Veamos, esta persona nos está contando una historia okay, de que ella fue a un seminario. Okay, she went to a seminar or a training. So let's listen to this reading. And when you are listening, you are reading, okay? So please read along. Oh, just let me share back because the audio, because of the audio. Okay, here we go. Oh, yes. Listen carefully, please. Hello, my name is Lorelai Gilmore. I went to Colombia to attend a training last December. I knew the headquarters for the first time, and it was a very interesting experience, because I learned how to be more efficient doing remote work. I am responsible for hunting for new clients, and I am accountable to the sales department but I learned to collaborate with the marketing department and also to coordinate with the purchases department. After the training, the personnel from tech support created and developed an app. The sales team planned the actions in the app and marketing designed the layout. We used this new platform and the last two months, the company increased the incomes in 65%. Our company is known for delivering the products on time and for taking care to ensure error free. Okay, let's listen to this again. Hello, my name is Lorelai Gilmore. I went to Colombia to attend a training last December. I knew the headquarters for the first time and it was a very interesting experience because I learned how to be more efficient doing remote work. I am responsible for hunting for new clients, and I am accountable to the sales department. But I learned to collaborate with the marketing department and also to coordinate with the purchases department. After the training, the personnel from tech support created and developed an app. The sales team planned the actions in the app and marketing designed the layout. We used this new platform, and the last two months, the company increased the incomes in 65%. Our company, 
our company is known for delivering the products on time and for taking care to ensure error free. Okay, people. First question. First question. Lisette, what is her name? What is her name? Jose Mauricio, what is her name? Don't remember, teacher. Okay, let's see. Anyone? Uh, she's Laura, but but uh, she's last night. I don't understand. Okay, okay. I will play it again for everyone to pay attention. What is her name? Okay, everybody, please pay attention. Hello, my name is Lorelai Gilmore. I went to. Okay, I'm going to do it again. My name is Lorelai Gilmore. Uh huh. What is her name? Lorelai. Laura. Lorelai. Okay, you don't want to be worried about the names of people. Uh, incluso para un nativo en, de otro idioma, es muy difícil comprender nuestros nombres. Nosotros no comprendemos los nombres en chino, ¿verdad? Es muy difícil también incluso saber si es mujer o es hombre solo por el nombre escrito, ¿verdad? Entonces, una explicación pequeña es que hay que escuchar el sonido tal como suena. Even though we don't know how to write it, no sabemos cómo se escribe, no sabemos, pero no tengamos la pena Okay, de preguntar, how do you spell your last name? How do you spell your name? Okay, if you didn't understand quite well the name of people, okay? Es ustedes no tienen que tener pena de que cuando ustedes les dicen un nombre, oh, no entiendo cómo es, pero más o menos suena así, ¿verdad? Te dígalo tal como lo escuchó, okay? Vamos a ver, otra vez, lo están diciendo muy bien, last time. Hello, my name is Lorelai Gilmore. Okay, what is her name? Lorelai. Laura. Lorelai. Okay, her name is Lorelai. I'm sorry. Yes, tell me. Good evening. Good evening. Can be me. like Laura. Um, no, it's not Laura. Laura. It's, okay, a ver Laura. si le suena. Lorelai. 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 And... Like the Lorena. last name, no, Lorelai, like that, Lorelai, uh, Lorelai, and the surname or the last name is Gilmore, Gilmore, okay, um, I will play it again, just for you to, okay, now listen, hello, my name is Lorelai Gilmore, okay, was it better when you hear what was her name? Lorelai. Okay. Lorelai? Gilmore. 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 Great. Yes. Lorelai Gilmore. Gil. Gilmore. Escucho que dice Gilmore. Excellent. <laughs> you, okay. And it's correct. It is. Así lo dice. Perfecto. Es que, es que escuchar eso, o sea, como quien dice Gilmore. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Yo me imagino un guión. <laughs> Uh -huh. uh, a more, right? And more. Uh -huh. Yeah. Lorelai Young more. Okay. <laughs> okay, but it is Lorelai Young more. Okay, what uh -huh. happened with this girl? Let's talk about the experience that she had. She's telling a story. Nos está contando una historia. Let's think about the story. Okay, let's think about the story. Primero, antes que nada, vamos a ver. ¿Qué verbos identifican acá en tiempo pasado? Past. Went. Ok. Good. Went. Ajá. New. Ajá. Was. Ok. Uh -huh. Learning. 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 Ok. Uh -huh. Planet. Okay. Created. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> was was learned, mm -hmm. created, 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 down, create. down. After okay. the training, the personal front, they support created and developing an app. Excellent. Nice. Thank you. Clean it. Developed. Uh -huh. What other? Planning. Design. Planned. 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 Uh -huh. Designing. Design. Designed. Excellent. Design. Design. Used. 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 Good. Used. Increased. Uh -huh. Increased. 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 Excellent. Increased. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What other? Is there any other? No, right. At the moment, we're okay. Yes, those are verbs in the past or the simple past tense. So remember, when we tell a story, we are uh, saying what happened in the past. Okay, in the past. Esto ya sucedió. Entonces usamos el tiempo pasado para contar anécdotas, chistes, historias. Okay. So let's let's see. I'm going to ask some questions. And please, let's go to the chat to answer those questions. Okay, let's go to the chat and answer these questions. When did Miss Gilmore attend a seminar? When did Miss Gilmore attend a seminar? She is attending. She's training la, last December. Okay. Ajá. Armemos la oración eh, gramaticalmente usando oh. el tiempo pasado. Ajá. She. A ver. ¿Cuál sería el verbo que vamos a usar? Passed, attended, great. Attended. A training. Mm -hmm. Training last, last December. December. Okay, everybody writing that in the chat. Okay, yo voy a escribir la pregunta. When did Miss Gilmore attend? Voy a poner a training. Okay. A ver, the answer. Everybody writing the answer. Uh -huh. A ver, en el chat todos escribiendo. Okay. Make sure that the verb that you're using is in the simple past verb form. Acuérdense de la segunda línea o de la segunda columna de la lista de verbos, ¿verdad? Estamos usando tiempo pasado. She. Yes, she. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, please. Excellent, Lisette. Mm -hmm. Ahí no va el verbo to be, solo el verbo en tiempo pasado, attended. Attended. Mm -hmm. 
Excellent, Carla María. Laura Margarita, complétenme la oración. She attended a seminar or a training last December. Okay. She attended a training last December. Good, Marielos. Okay. Very good, Jessica. She attended a training last December. Good, Marta Lidia. Very good, Lucia. Good job, Laura Margarita. Okay, Marcos. Mm -hmm. Last. Uh -huh. Okay. Very good, Julio Cesar. She attended a training last December. Very good. Okay, now let's think. Okay, Carla Raquel, just uh, watch out with the with the typing, right? But it it is okay. Okay, grammatically is correct. Okay, guys, I'm going to ask another question. What is she responsible for? Uh, sorry. Again. Responsible for. What is she responsible for? Hunting for new client. Very good, very good. So why hunting? Hunting es cazar. En realidad su, su literal es cazar, pero en este Atraer. caso, exactamente, conseguir, right? Conseguir, to get. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, Guadalupe. Delmi Guadalupe. And yes. Uh, ¿Me pueden, por favor, enviar eh, el mensaje donde diga todos, por favor? Porque si me lo envían directo, se me va y se los envío solo a uno. Ok, so let's see. What is she responsible for? Ok, great. She is, remember, she is, she is responsible for hunting for new clients. Great, Carla Maria, excellent. Good job. What is she responsible for? What is she responsible for? A ver todos, she's responsible for? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tengamos el cuidado de el spelling de responsible. No es con A, sino que es con I, ¿verdad? Okay, Jessica. Very good job, Marta Lidia. Okay, voy con otra pregunta. I'm going to ask another question. Did she know the headquarters before the, the training? Did she know the headquarters before the training? Mm -hmm. Did she know the headquarters before the training? Mm 
did she know the headquarters before the training? Antes, antes? Ya conocía ella antes? No. Okay, then the answer will be? No, she didn't. No, she didn't. Okay. Did she know the headquarters before the training? No, she didn't. Okay, Estela. Uh -huh. Very good. Kenny, Sandra, please, answering on the chat. Okay, very good, Laura. Marcos, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lisa, no, she didn't, right? Because she's saying, I knew the headquarters for the first time right here, right? I knew. ¿Cuál es el pasado de no? New, new. Se mm -hmm. oye como que fuera nuevo. New. La acá no suena. New. Okay. Very good, Marielos. Excellent, Jose Mauricio. And now we go to the to another question. Did she enjoy the, the training? Did she enjoy the training? Yes. She Okay. Yes, she did. Did she enjoy the training? Yes, she did, right? She's uh, telling that it was a very good experience, right? Did she learn something? Did she learn something? Did she learn something? Okay, yes, she did. What did she learn? Very good, Sandra. What did she learn? What did she learn? Yeah. What did she learn? Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Carla Maria says she learned more efficient, uh, uh, to be more efficient, right? Doing remote work, excellent. Now let's see, Estela says, uh, one second. Let me go down, scroll down. She learned to collaborate with the marketing department. Yes, excellent, Estela. Okay. What did she learn? Aquí a ver, Carla Raquel, what did she learn? Jose Mauricio, what did she learn? Excellent, Mar Marta Lidia. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead, Carla Raquel. And also to coordinate with the purchase department after the training. Okay, with the purchases department. Okay, yes, yes. She learned to uh, work with other departments, right? Related to the activity of her department because she worked for, she's accountable accountable to the sales department. So she said that she learned to collaborate with the um, uh, marketing department and also to coordinate with the purchases department. Yes, she learned to collaborate with marketing department. Excellent, Jose Mauricio. 
Very good, uh, Lisette. She learned to collaborate with marketing. Excellent. Okay, very good. Very good, Estela. Now, excellent. One new message here. Very good, Marcos. Mm -hmm. Ahí se le fue un poco el typing, pero sí, it's correct. It's correct. Very good, Caro. So, next question. What was the seminar about? What was the seminar about? Or the training about? What was the training about? De qué se trataba este training? What was the training about? Ideas, ideas. It's writing the personal frontage support crate. Okay, yeah, it was a training from the tech support personnel. Maybe they were, because they wanted to develop the app, right? So yes, mm -hmm. it could be. Mm -hmm. ¿De qué se trataba? A ver, ideas, ideas. Armemos una oración. Uh -huh. A ver, comenzaríamos con it was about, ok, it was about, y ustedes me ponen ahí cuál creen que sería el tema o el, el objeto principal de este training. Jose Mauricio dice uh, something about text four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it could be. Very good, Marielos. Like the support team or the support department, right? Technical support department. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, it was about uh, improving. Acordémonos que después de una preposición como about, for, of, va un ing. Entonces, about improving. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was about tech support that tech support wanted to create, right? Wanted to create and develop a new app. Why? Because they wanted to uh, do a more efficient remote work. Okay, maybe this was um, in the middle of the pandemic, right? Or the lockdown, right? Yeah, maybe, we don't know, right? We don't know. It was about it being more efficient. Yes, doing remote work. Very good, Lisette. Excellent, Estela. Yes, it was about the new application for sales in the company. Yeah, it may, it might be right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I think maybe it was about the processes, right? The processes from the production of the product to the final sale, right? To the final sale, maybe because they wanted to create and to make this more efficient. They wanted to create a, an app, right? So yes, it could be. Very good, very good. It was about, okay. Mm -hmm. What's about, okay, see. Okay, people. La última cosa en estos cinco minutos, vamos a escucharlos leer, okay? I want to hear you reading, okay? So, Jose Mauricio, please go ahead and read until the purchase department. Okay. Okay. I went to Colombia. I went to Colombia to attend a training last December. I never be how who is the but the pronunciation? Sorry. Headquarters. 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 For the first time, I was very interesting, interesting experience because I learning how to be more efficient doing remote work. I am responsible for hovering for new clients and I am accountable to the sales department, but I sales learned department. to sales department. Sales department. Mm -hmm. Sales department, thank you. But I learning to collaborate. 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 Uh -huh. Collaborate with the marketing department and also to coordinate with the purchase perch, perch, Purchases. Purchases department. Thank you. Now, please, Lucia, continue from after to free. Desde el inicio. No, desde aquí. After. Ah, desde. Permite. Uh Ajá. -huh. Okay. After the training, the per the personal from tech support. Creating and the level, the level developed, developed an app. Uh, an app. The sales, the plan, the action in the app. And marketing, the sound, the yet. We use this new platform in this last two months. The company includes the incomes and safety. Five percent. Our company is no for and uh, delivering the products on time and for taking care to ensure every free error free error. Okay, error free. Okay, thank you very much, Carla Maria. Please read it completely. I went to Colombia. To attend a training last December. I knew the headquarters for the first time. It was a very interesting experience because I learned how to be more efficient doing remote work. I'm responsible for hunting for new clients and I'm accountable to the sales department, but I learned to collaborate with the marketing department and also to coordinate with the purchase department. After the training, the personal from tech support created and developed an app. The sales team planning the action in the app and marketing design the layout. We use this new platform in the last two months, the company increased the incomes in 65%. Our company is now for delivering the products on time and for taking care of the ensure error free. Thank you very much. Marta Lidia, please, from the beginning to purchase department. I went to Colombia to attending, attending a training last December. I knew the headquarters for the first time it was a very interesting experience, experience because 
y learner know to be more efficient, ef efficient, efficient. Doing, efficient, doing remote, remote work. I am responsible for ha, how, how hunting, hunting for new clients, and I am accountable to the to the sales departments. But it's learner to collaborate. Collaborate, collaborate with the marketing, collaborate with the marketing department, and also co also, also to coordinate, coordinate 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 with the purchase department department. Thank you very much. It is Janet from after to the end. After the trying the personal phone touch support. Create and develop an app, the starting planet, the action in the app, and marketing the, the thing, design, the, this design, the layer, layout. We use it, layout. We use it, the new platform, and the sale to month. The company increase, increasing. Increase the in, increase the income in six five uh, four. Our company is now for delivering the products on time and for thank car to ensure her free. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bien, hay que tener cuidado cómo pronunciamos los verbos en tiempo pasado, ¿verdad? Bueno, al igual que el tiempo presente, ¿verdad? Pero el verbo le da el sentido a la acción, ¿ok? Because it's the action, ¿ok? So, went, everybody knows, went. Open your mics and tell it with, say it with me. Went. Went. Attend. 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 New. 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 New, como que están diciendo New. la palabra nuevo. New, igualito. New. New. Uh -huh. New. 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 Was. 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 Learned. Was. Learned. 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 Doing. 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 Aquí Doing. no decimos doing. Aquí decimos doing. 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 Aquí. Collaborate. 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 Coordinate. 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 Created. 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 Y con la T suave sería created. 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 Ok, lo pueden oír con la T suave o con la T fuerte. La T suave sería created y la T fuerte es created. 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 Developed. 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 Planned. 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 Designed. Designed. Used. 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 Aquí no vamos a decir use. Aquí vamos a decir use. 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 Increased. 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 Delivering. 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 Delivery. Okay. Ahora, Delivery. con este verbo known, 
tiene que sonar esta N al final, porque si solo decimos no, estamos diciéndolo en presente. Entonces le cambia el sentido, ¿verdad? Y ya no se comprende. Entonces tenemos que decir no un... <coughs> No, 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 Taking, taking. Y como va unido con esta sería taking care, taking care, taking care. Ensure, 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 ensure. Sure. Sure. Okay, people, do you have any question about this activity? Any question so far? Do you have any question so far? No questions? No questions. Okay, si se acuerdan de la historia, verdad? A las... Ok, bye. No quiero, no quiero cortar ahorita. A las nueve y diez me avisan para tomar la lista, ok? Bien, ahora lo que quiero es que vamos a contar nosotros la historia, ¿ok? Vamos a contar nosotros la historia de Miss Gilmore. So, let's go and you're going to... No, 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 no. Uh -huh. So, what happened first? Contemos la historia. Lorelai. Uh -huh. Travel. Uh -huh. To Colombia okay. for the seminar. Oh, very good, very good. Now let's see, Jorge. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, hello. <laughs> A ver, continue la historia. She traveled to, to Colombia to uh attend a uh, uh, training right or a seminar mm -hmm. um que seguía en su historia vamos a ver le ayudan can you help ever, everyone please please please, please everyone right. please helping aha uh -huh. these yes. are the headquarters okay correct aha uh -huh. so what did she say about the headquarters It was her first time uh -huh. in the her headquarters. Excellent, Estela. It was her first time in the uh, the headquarters. Okay, now. The training. You're responsible to for. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Continue, Estela. <laughs> I, the, she is responsible for a uh, accounting in the sales department. I remember that now. Okay, so she is accountable to the sales department. Okay, she is accountable to the sales department. Okay. She is accountable to. A sales department. Okay. okay, yes. Marta Lidia, continue the story. She learned. She learned to be more efficient. Efficient? Uh huh. Efficient. Excellent. Laura, helping here, please. Help Marta Lidia. Yeah, we need your help, Laura. Come on. No sé por dónde van. Marta Lidia, repeat. Um, she learned. Responsible. Responsible for um, hand counting of common uh -huh. for new cl cl clients. Okay, she's responsible for hunting new clients. That's a very good point here, too. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Okay, Marta Lidia said something. Continue with the idea, Marcos. Continue con la idea de Marta Lidia. She learned 
A ver, Marta Lidia, repeat. Responsible for hiring for new clients. Okay, but now we are saying, what did she learn, Marta? She learned, she learned for efficient doing remote work. Excellent. She learned to be more efficient doing remote work. Okay. What else did, did she learn? She learned to collaborate with the marketing department. Great. And what other department? And also to coordinate with the Purchases department. Purchases department. Yes, great. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And what happened after the training? What happened after the training? Continue the story. She created. She created. Created development app. Ape, app. Mm. Okay, did she Training create the app? The personal. The personnel, personnel, remember personnel. Personnel. Mm -hmm. from, from tech support, uh-huh. From tech support. Uh -huh. from tech support. Uh -huh. What did they do? What did they do after the training? Created. They created, they created, and and develop an app. Yes, an and app. that app. Uh huh. Okay. Continue the story. Continue the story. Oh, the sales. The sales. Created the layout. Yes. Layout. Yeah. Okay, two, two ideas yeah. here. Mm -hmm. The tech support designed yes. the layout, right? The layout. Layout es lo que se mira en la aplicación, digamos, la presentación de la aplicación. ¿Qué había en la aplicación? Es ¿Cómo como, se miraba? Es como un UX. Exactly. So now let's think about the next idea. Yes. Uh, the, uh, increment. Uh, increased. 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 Uh huh. Increase. Increased. Uh huh. Income. We used the app. It says we used it, the app, and then the um, incomes. El dinero um, que entra incomes. Uh huh. Increased. Increased. Certified. Plus. Or. 65%. Percent. percent, yes, percent. Very good. And the last part. Delivering. Uh -huh. Sandra? The, the company. Mm -hmm. Delivery no and in time. time. The product. Yeah, product on time. On time. Great, great. So that's punctuality, remember? Uh huh. And what else? This idea. Taking care. To ensure error free. Error free. C yes. Zero error. Free. Yes, correct. <laughs> None error. Yes. Zero, uh -huh. right error zero. So guys, you did a very good job here telling the story. So now I know the story about Laura like you more and you know the story about Laura like you more. So now we are gonna call the roll. So please remember to turn on your cameras and say present when you hear your name, okay? So, uh, one second.
Carol Ibe Chávez Reyes. Present teacher. Ok. Delmi Guadalupe Martínez Marroquín. Estela Mabel Orellana de Del Cid. Thank you, Delmi. Present teacher. Ok, Estela. Guadalupe Yamilet Salazar Aguilar. Oh, she's having some. Ok, Iliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Present teacher. Ok, Iris Marina Portillo de Reyes. Present teacher. Iris Janet Barrera Herrera. Present. Uh, Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Ok, Jessica. I see only your forehead, but yeah, I know you were there. And Jorge Antonio Feliciano Rivera. Present teacher. Ok. Jose Mauricio García Hernández. Present. Ok. Um, Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present teacher. Kenny Lisset Cuellar de Barrientos. Present. Laura Margarita Claros de Hernández. Present. Lucía Susana Chica de Claros. Present. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Marielos Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Marta Lidia Godínez. Present teacher. Sandra Patricia Marroquín Loaiz. Present. Eh, Sonia Evelyn Iraeta de Gómez. Ok, Sandra. Present teacher. Ok, Sonia. Um, Yulisa Raquel Cruz García. Yulisa, no Yulisa. I thought she was the M. Lisette del Carmen Hernández Mismi. Present. Ok, uh, Carla Raquel Mendoza Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla María Ayala de Vázquez. Present. Very good. Okay, guys, let's continue then and let's go to our manuals. In our manuals, we have in page, uh, well, we have an exercise that is in page 18 that we need to do, but let's start with the review that we have in page 27, okay? It was, Mark, I'm sorry, Lucia. <laughs> tell me, tell Pero, me. No. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, tell me. I didn't get it. Uh, tell me. Don't worry. Dígame. No se preocupe. No, no. Se me fue. Creo que de ya ratos la tenía y no la envié. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Sí, sí. Ah, it was. Okay, correct. Correct. Okay. <laughs> now I get it. Okay, so now let's see here. In the manual on pay, um, page 27, we have a word search. This is very interesting because you are going to tell me the definitions of these words, but uh, at the same time, we want to search these words uh, in this box. But let's go to the page 27 and let me go there because the first word is staff. Staff, what does staff mean? Staff. ¿Qué significa staff? What does staff mean? It's the same from red semaphore. <laughs> ¿Es staff? Uh, alto. No, no, no. It's not a stop. Stop is different. Staff. 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 Personal. Personal stop. Ok, acordémonos de cómo se dice, ¿verdad que no se dice personal? Se dice, ¿cómo personal. se dice? Personal. Personal, personal. yes, personal, <laughs> remember, remember the personal. pronunciation here is very important because <laughs> si no estamos diciendo una cosa diferente, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a ver por acá, ok, uh, this is some some vocabulary that we need just to recall, okay? We want to recall this. I don't know if it is possible to do this, okay? Uh, let me see. Quiero hacerlo grande. Yeah. 
no me agarra esto. Vamos a hacer directo. Es free, sí, hoy sí. Okay, here it is. So guys, here in the word search, we have some words that we need to uh, find out in the, in the box, right? So in this, <laughs> like a word soup, right? But let's see here, we have industry, industry. What is industry? What is industry? A ver, quien me dice en pocas palabras, in sure words. Is the segment mm -hmm. is the segment of um, different mm -hmm. uh, uh, that they belong, right? Like is the field, oh. right? Uh -huh. The field or the group, the group of um, companies that they belong to. It depends on the expertise of the company, right? So let's think about staff. We said it was the personnel that works in a company, right? What is networking? What is networking? Networking? Do you know what? It's a group. Is? It's a group. The, the pairs, the different pairs. People? Uh, people, mm -hmm. but the same profession? Uh, yes, and mm, not exactly, because it's not only a group, okay? It's the action of making mm -hmm. relations or having relationship with co colleagues or uh, people in the same um, activity that I am, right? So, um, yes, networking is to um start relationships and also to have communication with other people through the networks or the social networks it could be of course online right mm -hmm. online so let's think about what is branch what does branch mean branch they said what does branch mean <laughs> Branch. Branch. Remember what is branch? It's a group. What? Uh huh. Um, I would declare others. Mm hmm. Sucursales. Okay, yes. <laughs> they are offices uh, that represent Office, our brand or our represent. company. Is the Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. the principal office. representation. Okay, the print the main offices, main offices. Main Porque office. principal's office is la oficina del director, verdad? Principal oh. es el director. Entonces, principal's office is la oficina del director. No es headquarters, verdad? Headquarters are oh. the say the main offices, right? the main, main offices. Office. Like the central, right? Like the central. So uh, let's think what guests mean. Guests. Guests. Mm -hmm. Guests. You remember? It's invited. Uh, not exactly in, uh, invited people. Uh, it's the people who stays at a hotel or who stay in a place, right? The people who stays in a hotel, right? So let's see. Small talk. What is a small talk? It's very easy. It's a short conversation. 
Okay, great. <laughs> it's a short conversation with strangers, right? Or uh, about topics that are not real, are not are not really important, right? Um, <clears throat> manufacture. What verb is this? What action is this? Manufacture. What is oh, manufacture? Uh -huh. Tell me, Jorge. To produce article. To produce something, right? Yes, correct. Now, personnel. What is personnel? What does it mean? What does this word mean? Is employed of the mm -hmm. is the people who work mm -hmm. at a company, right? People who work at a company or for a company. Expertise, expertise. What is expertise? What does it mean? Expertise. Maybe someone to have experience in any thing. Okay, not only people, not only people, but the companies, right? Is la actividad principal, is the main activity. What they do, right? What do they do? That's expertise. They are specialized in producing something or offering a service or um, I don't know, an activity or manufacture, right? Or distribute or yeah, that's expertise, expertise. Maybe they produce beverages, remember? They produce soft drinks, that's the expertise and the industry type will be the beverage, right? Industry. So let's go to Vamos a abrir esto un poquito. Déjenme ver cómo lo puedo abrir porque quiero que ustedes todos hagamos un solo chapandongo. No, que todos entremos a la pantalla y buscamos las palabras, ¿ok? Ustedes las marcan. Solo déjenme ver cómo se puede ver mejor esto. Tenía años de no escuchar la palabra, chapandongo. Yeah, en chapandongo, yes. A mes, mes sería la palabra, mes. Un relajo, un desorden, right? But a uh, mes that is ordered, yeah. Bueno, vamos a, a ponerlo así siempre porque no, no me acerca, porque si no, no entra en la parte donde estoy compartiendo. Entonces, vamos a ver. Uh, zoom, 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 maybe. Mm -mm. No, no, no. This is not what I was going to do. I'm sorry, guys. A ver. Tiene que, tiene que poder. ¿Lo miran más grande ustedes ahí? Yes. ¿Lo miran igual chiquito? A ver, otra vez. Sigue pensando. ¿Cuándo me suelta? It's not working for... Ok, here we are. Es que tengo la barra de menú del Zoom encima, entonces no me deja entrar a los iconos, pero ahora sí. Ya dejo de pensar, ya lo puedo ver. So I'm going to share the screen and please, everybody get ready and you are going to find out the words. Ok. So here we go. Let me show you this. Still here. 
¿Ya están listos? Yes. Okay. So please, everyone, try. Industry, staff, networking, branch, guests, headquarters, small talk, manufacturer, personal, ex personnel, expertise. Understand. Okay. 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 Vamos a detenernos ahí. We are going to stop the activity there. Um, pero es. Kenny, ahorita le voy a quitar el control. Okay. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. You see? Yeah, this is a piece of art. Yes, artwork. You see? De verdad que esto es una obra de arte. Mire, entre todos hicimos una abstract. Uh, mm -hmm. Piece of, uh, I mean, piece of art. Yes. You see? Okay, people. Now, I'm going to erase all the drawings and... We are going to use these words in sentences, okay? We are going to use these words in sentences. So let's go to that activity, activity number two. Activity number two. One second, let me share this. One second, I'm almost there, I'm almost there. <laughs> Here I am. Okay, now I have to open this. And let's 
use these words, this, this words in sentences. So let's start with Jessica. Jessica, please use industry in a sentence. Mm. Vayan ahí en el manual tienen bastantes con industry. Váyanse al tema de industry, uh, uh, industry vocabulary. Hay un montón de oraciones. Vamos a ver. Y el día es to review. Sonia, Sonia Evelyn. I'm here, teacher. Hello. Ok, then, uh, vamos a utilizar estas palabras en oraciones. Y ahorita estamos pensando con la palabra industry. Industry. So, please, everyone, think about a sentence with industry. A ver, Sonia. Le digo una. Oración. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. Using industry. Uh, the telecommunication industry. Mm -hmm. No, no era tel. Es como no, puede the, ser. Yes. The telecommunication industry. Has increased, 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 increased the sales. The sales. Excellent, Sonia. Very good. Very good. Solo que aquí estamos usando una forma de verbo que no hemos visto aún. Ok. Una forma de verbo que no hemos visto aún, pero es ha incrementado, ok, ha incrementado, ok, has, thank you, has es el verbo, eh, no, el verbo es has increased, completo, yeah, increased, mm -hmm. okay. ok, let's see, vamos a ver, Kenny, use staff, The staff is very important. Ah, oh, sería. The past sentence. Debe de ser en pasado, ¿verdad, Tish? Don't hear, Tish. Sorry. Acuérdense que hemos visto presente y pasado, so you can use any. Ahorita just... Ah, oh, okay. Uh -huh. The meaning of the word is the important thing here. Okay. That mm -hmm. stuff is very important in the company. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. A ver, escojamos otra palabra. ¿Cuál otra palabra quieren? What other word do you choose? Vamos a ver. ¿Qué otra palabra quieren? Headquarters. Ok, go ahead. Headquarters. It was Kenny, right? Who said so. No. A ver. Kenny, usted dijo headquarters, ¿verdad? Yes. <laughs> ok. Now. Uh, vamos a ver, todos pensando en una oración con headquarters. Using headquarters in a sentence. Let's see. It is Marina. Uh -huh. Ok. Let's see, Ileana, use uh, headquarters in a sentence. 
Ileana. Sandra. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Podría ser. Mm -hmm. The team go to the headquarters. The goes, porque es team, goes. ¿verdad? Iría con el singular. The team goes to the headquarters. Okay. Okay, there we are. The team goes to the headquarters. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue. Jose Mauricio, choose a word and use it in a sentence. Can you repeat, teacher? Choose a word and use it in a sentence. Escoja una palabra y la usa en una oración. Ok. The help cards mm -hmm. uh, use it for, for meetings. Is used for meeting okay great very good okay now let's see laura choose a word and tell me a sentence my company have five branch excellent El, el plural sería branches, branches. Uh -huh. Yes. Ahora, ¿cuál sería el detalle acá? Veamos. ¿Qué sucede con este verbo? It has, has. because it's the company is a third person. Yes, correct. So it has five branches. Okay, has, not have. Very good, very good. Okay, people, is there any question using these words? Hay alguna pregunta acerca de estas palabras? Is there any question so far? Estamos bien? Are we okay? Everything clear? Okay. All clear. All clear. Very good. So now let's go to the page. We have, uh, and the next page, it's the 28, and a page 28. We have an exercise there. It's exercise number five, uh, three. I'm sorry, exercise number three. Okay. Pero antes de hacer este ejercicio, vamos a ir a realizar un ejercicio que nos hace falta en la página, I think it was 21 or 21, 21. Uh, no, 22. On page 22. Vamos todos a la página 22 para que después sigamos completando la otra actividad número 3. Ok. Let's read the instructions. Let's read the instructions. A ver, vamos a ver. Um, Julio Cesar, can you read the instructions, please? One second. Please read the instructions, Julio Cesar. Write the questions that correspond to the answer that follow. Use the verbs in parentheses. Thank you, thank you very much. So we have to use these verbs that are in parentheses. Okay, manage, 
supervise, oversee, report to, manufacture, and do. Esos verbos los vamos a usar para hacer preguntas. Let's read the example, please. Can you read the example, um, Iris Janet? Teacher, what page? Is? It's page 22. Page 22. I'm sorry, it was pa page 22. Elaborar la segunda pregunta, Ticha. No, just reading the example. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Solo es leer el ejemplo. Only okay. reading the example. Okay. What mm -hmm. department does Marta eh, may, manage? Manage. 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 What department, department does Marta manage? Excellent. Thank you very much. Esta la, la intuimos la pregunta por la respuesta. Entonces, vamos a leer las respuestas y vamos a hacer la pregunta que corresponde, ¿verdad? Acordémonos que aquí tenemos que ver si es singular o si es plural. Usamos does cuando es singular, o sea, sea she it or he, y usamos do para preguntar cuando es en plural, ¿ok? Vamos a ver entonces, number two, number two. What? 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 Department. Department. Does. Do. Supervise. Supervise. Mm -hmm. Do or does? Does. Do. Does. Why do. does? Do. 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 Singular. Do. 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 do what? Pero estamos hablando de ella, ¿no? Está hablando de I. Do. What department do you supervise? Okay. What department do you supervise? Right? Do you? ¿Por qué? Porque la respuesta I supervise, right? For example, uh, I say, Jorge Antonio, what department do you supervise? Right? Or I said, for example, uh, Carla, what department do you supervise, right? Uh, Julio, what department do you supervise? So the answer is I supervise the maintenance department, the maintenance department. Let's read the answer for number three. It says, Claudio oversees the branch in Ilopango. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's brand? What? Brand. Mm -hmm. Over C. Over C. Cloud. Ok, vamos a ver. ¿Qué va primero? El auxiliar, What? ¿verdad? What branch? Branch. Uh -huh. Do or does? Does. Does. Over. Does. Que me falta el das. Mm -hmm. Does Claudio? What? Oversee. 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 Claudio. Eh, uh -huh. vale. Veamos cómo está hecha la pregunta. Uh -huh. The question start with a WH phrase or word. It starts with WH phrase or word. Then the helping verb, do or does. Then it goes the subject, and then the verb and the complement, okay? Mm -hmm. Y el verbo and the verb goes in the base form. Y el verbo va en forma base, okay? Vamos a ver number Vamos four. Ver. 
Perfect. Who do? Mm -hmm. Who do you? Mm -hmm. Report mm -hmm. to the super bar. Okay. Okay. Who? Okay. Remember, who do you report to? Si yo hago la pregunta, así como me la dijeron, okay, ¿estaría bien la respuesta? A ver, ¿está correcta esta pregunta? No. No, no. why? The super. So the super boys. Because if wow. you can uh, have it's not Who you. Do you report to? The answer mm. is I. Aha, uh -huh, exactly, exactly, Estela. Mm -hmm. Entonces, then, what is the correct question? ¿Cómo sería ya corrigiendo esta pregunta? Vamos a ver. ¿Quién es el sujeto? Según la respuesta, the, who, the, the subject is who in the answer and in the question is who, uh, and you don't have to uh, to to put uh, another. You have who. Uh, not exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, the assemblers. Yes, the assemblers is the subject that they are asking for, right? They need to know about the assemblers, an action related to the assemblers. Assemblers is a word in plural, so we use do, right? What, uh, I'm sorry, who do they assemblers report to, okay? Who do the assemblers report to, right? Who do the assemblers report to? Hey, mira vos, ¿y a quién le reportan estos ensambladores? ¿Vea? Okay. What do the assemblers report to? What do the assemblers report to? So the answer is the assemblers report to the supervisor. The supervisor is the boss over there, right? So number five, number five. <laughs> Where are uh -huh. the plants manufactured? Ajá. Está buena su, su pregunta. A ver, para que todos la visualicemos, la pregunta es, where is the uh, dijo production they? plant? Dijo, ¿verdad? No uh -huh. dijo production? The, sí, plant. No, dije manufactured. Ah, okay. The manufacturer plant. Okay. Si lo ponemos así, okay, uh, estamos hablando de que ya sabemos, ¿verdad? En, eh, que estamos hablando de eh, el lugar, ¿verdad? De donde se manufactura, okay. Pero yes. si yo quiero preguntarlo de una forma más general, ok, usando do or does, ok, vamos a ver. Aquí solo me podrían responder, ah, it's en Santa Ana, right? It's en Santa Ana, es otra la respuesta. Vamos a ver entonces, buscando de acuerdo a la respuesta que tenemos. Where do, Ajá. Where do the... Where do do, uh -huh. do or does? Does, sorry, does. <laughs> does, okay, vale, Where veamos con does. does. A ver, ¿qué continuaría? The plan, the plan, the plan. Manufacture or the... Mm -hmm. 
Vale, vamos a ver. ¿A quién le estamos preguntando? They. Ok. Mm -hmm. they? Ok, podría ser they, pero la respuesta dice we, manufacturer. We. Ah. We. Ahora, acuérdense cuando decimos we, oh. nos da la idea que se incluye la persona you. en el grupo, ¿verdad? Entonces estamos oh. hablando de what does your company do or something like that, ¿verdad? Entonces podríamos ponerlo. What does do you? your company podría ser, ¿verdad? Un buen... Un buen... Ok. Where does your company manufacture the products? Pero pongámosla exacta, así, para no perdernos. Si me preguntan, we, es you, ¿verdad? You, you de ustedes en plural, ¿verdad? Where do you... Uh -huh. Manufacture. Where do you manufacture? Right? Where do you manufacture? Where do you manufacture? Ahí ese you está hablando de una compañía, ¿verdad? Entonces, we también es una compañía. We. Me incluyo en la compañía como parte del equipo, ¿verdad? As a part of the staff. So, let's continue with number six. The verb is do, okay? The verb, the main verb is do. Aquí no nos confundamos, porque está el, el auxiliar do y está el verbo do como verbo. Entonces, si yo pregunto, what do you do? Estoy usando dos do, pero cada uno tiene una función. So, let's see. Douglas trains the new staff. Douglas trains the new staff. What will be the question here? Who is the trains? Okay, okay. Who is the train trainer? Who is the trainer? Lo voy a escribir para que lo visualicen. Es correcta. Esta pregunta es correcta. Who is the trainer? Perfecto. Pero tal vez en otro contexto sonaría mejor, ¿verdad? Ahora, veamos. Estamos preguntando qué hace Douglas, right? What does Douglas do? What does Douglas do? Excellent. What does Douglas do? Correct. There you go, guys. Now it's your turn in that activity, exercise number three on page 28. I'm going to stop sharing. Okay. So let's go to page 28. Ya casi, casi terminamos y el tiempo, el tiempo, el tiempo nos come. Pero a, ustedes saben que lo más importante es que lo comprendan y se quede con ustedes el conocimiento. Ok. Aunque vayamos poco a poco. Es mejor. Ok. Ritmo lento y con buena letra, como dice, ¿verdad? Ok, hagamos entonces esta. Esta actividad era para que nos fuéramos al breakout room, ok, el ejercicio 3 y el ejercicio 4. Pero vamos a hacer nada más el 3 acá. Oh, sorry. Ahora tenemos que armar nosotros preguntas usando estas frases o palabras. Perdón, verbos. Uh, write five information questions in the simple present. Use the verbs from the box. ¿Cuáles son los verbos que tenemos? A ver, open your mics and, and read the verbs. Overs, oversee. 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 Manufacture. Supervise. Okay. Carla Raquel, Marielos. A ver, what are the verbs? ¿Cuáles son los verbos? Oversee, mm -hmm. manufacture, supervise, be in chair of, network. Okay, Sandra, what are the verbs we are going to use? Oversee. 
for C. Manufacture, supervise, mm -hmm. be in charge of Excellent. network. Excellent. There you go. Is there any word that you don't know in this box? Hay algún verbo que no sepan de estos que están acá? Yes, oversee. Oversee is something like supervisar. Okay, it's like a synonym. Synonym of supervise. Yeah. Como controlar también. Yeah. Be in charge of. Uh, be in charge of, we know this uh, um, expression, the complete expression is a collocation. And I am in charge of, you are in charge of, okay? Estar encargado de, right? A cargo de. Okay, guys, so let's write these five information questions. Let's start. Let's start. Oversee, let's use oversee. A ver. Das. Uh -huh. Das Carlos. Oversi. The uh -huh. personal in the plan. Uh, yo diría así, mire, the plant personnel, personnel, I'm plant sorry. Plant person. Mm -hmm. The plant personnel. Okay, in this case, this is a question, esta, esta es una pregunta directa, no es una pregunta de información. Una pregunta de información lleva WH, acuérdense. Una palabra con WH mm. o una, una frase completa, ¿verdad? Como las que mm. acabamos de hacer, como las que acabamos de hacer. Do Vamos you a ver. Oversize, uh -huh. Do you oversize? Oversee. Uh, oversee, sorry. Uh -huh. the, uh, this company. Ok, ahí también otra pregunta directa, donde la respuesta es sí o no, ¿verdad? Ajá. Yeah. Uh -huh. Puede you... ser. Who does oversee? Ajá. Uh -huh. Who does oversee? Um, en ese caso, no entraría who does, porque ahí de un solo pregunta, entonces who se convierte en el subject, entonces ya no utilizaríamos do or does. Eso lo vamos a ver quizá en otro curso más adelante. Por el momento, eh, no entra exactamente solo así. Uh, who... ¿Qué quiero decir? ¿Dónde está el, eh, el, el supervisor o el encargado? Okay. Why do you oversize? Oh, Why do you... Voy, voy a usar este ejemplo y después le doy el suyo. Why do you oversee? This uh, work. Excellent. Okay, let's start. This work, this project. Okay, very good. This production, etc. Okay. This is a WH question or an information question. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, people. Eh, nos vamos a quedar hasta acá. Okay. Nos vamos a quedar hasta acá because it's 10 o'clock already. And we have to call the roll also. Y ustedes tienen que irse a um, hacer el examen, por favor. No pasa de ahora que hacen el examen. Okay. Porque si no, no se reporta su nota y no aparece en el sistema y después se generan situaciones. Así que, por favor, este día debe quedar hecho el um, midterm test. Y tenemos que hacer hasta la tarea número 10. Ok, people. So let me call the roll. Eh, ahora le toca a Julio el... Los 10 minutos. The 10 minutes. Julio Cesar, are you there? Eh, do you want to stay tonight? Do you yes, teacher. To... Okay, great. Carol Ivette Chavez Reyes. Present, teacher. Delmi Guadalupe Martínez Marroquín. 
Estela Mabel Orellana de Del Cid. Present. Eh, Guadalupe Yamilet Salazar de Aguilar. Iliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Iris Marina, thank you, Delmi. Iris Marina Portillo de Reyes. Present, teacher. Ok. Uh, Iris Janet Barrera Herrera. Present, teacher. Jessica del Carmen Present. Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jorge Antonio Feliciano Rivera. Present. Okay. José Mauricio García Hernández. Present. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present, teacher. Kenny Lizette Cuellar de Barrientos. Here, teacher. Present. Laura Margarita Claros de Hernández. Present, Lucía Susana Chica de Claros. Present. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present, teacher. Marielos Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present, teacher. Marta Lidia Godínez. Present, teacher. Sandra Patricia Marroquín Loay. Present, teacher. Sonia Evelyn Iraeta de Gómez. Present, teacher. Yulisa Raquel Cruz García. Lizeth del Carmen Hernández Mismi. Present, teacher. Carla Raquel Mendoza Hernández. Present, teacher. Carla María Ayala de Vázquez. Present. Ok, thank you. Si tienen alguna pregunta, alguna duda, por favor no duden en hacérmela saber. Pueden enviar mensaje de texto, eh, pero sí tiene que quedar terminado ahora el examen y la tarea número 10. Ok, bien. Vamos entonces, eh, me quedo con Julio César en have a good night, everyone. Bye bye. 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 Have a good rest. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Take bye. care. Bye. Bye bye, tell me. Bye bye, Ileana. Okay, Julio Cesar, here we are. It's your time. I'm all for you tonight. Oh my God. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? Teacher, me, no me quedó muy claro. Uh -huh. El uso del, el, me confundí hoy el uso último, el uso del das y el do. El do y el das. Okay. So, no el, 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 el das para singular. Exacto. Y el do para plural. Exactamente. Vamos a ver. Este es el caso de las preguntas. Ok, nosotros en español no tenemos esa situación de estar eh, machando o haciendo que pegue, ¿verdad? Que si es un verbo o el auxiliar es plural o con el sujeto. O sea, no, no tenemos ese concepto. Perdón, en inglés, cuando preguntamos, tiene que cuadrar. Entonces, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Las preguntas básicas que hemos aprendido hasta este momento, ¿verdad? What do you do? En este caso, ¿verdad? El sujeto es you, ¿verdad? You. Mm -hmm. Entonces, eh, you se puede usar para plural y para singular. Pero, en todo caso, es do, ¿verdad? Do. Porque do es para todos los que no son he, she, it. ¿verdad? Para los que no Todos son, que no son he, tercera she, persona. Exactamente. Entonces, los que uh -huh. son singular son he, she, it. Y estos yes. son los que vamos a preguntar usando das. ¿Ok? Yes. Entonces, por ejemplo, yo estoy platicando con Kenny, por ejemplo, y le digo, what does Julio do? ¿Ok? O le pregunto a usted, what does uh, Estela do, right? Yeah. What does Estela do? Entonces, aquí yo estoy eh, usando does porque tengo he y tengo she, ¿verdad? Ahora, your company, your company es un sujeto y ese es it. Entonces, yo diría, what does your company, your company. do? ¿Verdad? What does your company do? Entonces, siempre que usemos una WH word, ¿verdad? Para hacer una pregunta, como where, 
why, ¿cuál otra? Mm, uh, a ver. When, uh -huh. eh, how, who. Uh -huh. Todas esas palabras, cuando vamos a hacer una pregunta, tenemos que poner el auxiliar, ¿verdad? Y el auxiliar es do or does. En yes. el tiempo presente. Esto es en el tiempo presente, ¿verdad? En el tiempo presente. No sé si fue ahí en la plataforma. Yo le puse unos ejercicios en la plataforma. No sé si llegó por ahí. Vamos a ver. Déjenme llegar por ahí. En la discussion label. Entró a la discusión para ver el ejercicio, Julio. No, todavía no. Ok. Ahí, eh, pues, si puede acceder ahorita, ahí tenemos en la discusión un tema que, a ver, esto está súper lento, mi internet. Que por día se pone solo el internet. Uh -huh. Yo creo que sabe que es lunes. <risa> <risa> No, yo no me he fallado para nada a mí. Ay, sí. Y estoy dentro de la casa. Oh, va, mire, espérame, tal vez se lo puedo poner como en la worksheet. No, a ver si me sale acá. Ok, sí, aquí lo tengo, así lo voy a presentar. Esta página, esta worksheet, esta hoja de trabajo se las puse en la plataforma. Usted puede subir ahí a la plataforma. Y ahí va a encontrar este ejercicio para que se le aclare un poquito más el uso, ¿verdad? ¿verdad? Entonces, el asunto es, ¿verdad? Que tenemos que uh -huh. hacer que el plural y el singular del verbo, así se llama en inglés esto, ¿verdad? Que concuerde tanto el sujeto con el verbo. El verbo también tiene forma para el singular o el plural en el tiempo presente, ¿verdad? Entonces, veamos acá. Eh, no necesariamente estamos en do or does. ¿okay? Aquí va revuelto tanto statements positivos, negativos y de interrogación. ¿okay? Para entender el plural y el singular tanto del sujeto con el verbo, ¿verdad? Entonces, veamos. la primera Está fácil. Vamos a ver, ¿cómo completaríamos esa pregunta? No es do ni das, ¿verdad? Es, este verbo lo tenemos que hacer de acuerdo al sujeto. Vamos a ver, ¿cómo sería esta primera pregunta? What, What is, exactly, is, is your name? Exactly. Bueno, entonces ya sabemos que your name es singular. Ok. Singular. Mm -hmm. Ahora veamos esta segunda. Uh -huh. Mire, esta no es WH, es una pregunta directa. Es una pregunta en donde solo voy a usar el auxiliar y el verbo principal. El verbo principal es have, el que debo usar. Entonces, ¿cuál auxiliar debo usar si este es plural? Sería our. Eh, no, aquí sería do. Ok. Así. Do. Espérame con mayúscula para entrar. Do. We have a meeting. Entonces, cuando utilizamos el do, cuando es plural, meet. Uh -huh. Ok. Do we have a meeting? En español, por eso le, le, le vuelvo a repetir que en español no tenemos este contexto. ¿verdad? Nosotros solamente decimos, eh, mira, ahí tenemos reunión. ¿vo? Tenemos reunión. ¿ya? Es un plural donde nos incluimos, pero no decimos nosotros, no tenemos una palabra que la haga pregunta, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Más que la entonación. En cambio, Correct. en inglés, sí, la gramática tiene un auxiliar que nos complica. Y, un, y una forma del verbo que nos complica con el número del sujeto. Entonces, vamos a ver la siguiente. Number three. Tenemos el sujeto es he, ¿verdad? 
el verbo principal que debemos usar es do. ¿Cuál sería el auxiliar acá? What does he do? Excellent. Es en singular el... Y luego el verbo es la forma base. ¿Verdad? Ahí está. What does he do? What does he do? Perdón. Ahora, este es el otro detalle. Que usamos does y usamos do para lo negativo. Nosotros no usamos eso en español. Simplemente decimos no. Decimos no. sí. Mm -hmm. ¿Verdad? Independientemente sea género masculino, femenino, sea número plural o singular, ¿verdad? Por eso hay que abrir el concepto y pensar. Este es un plural que es they, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿el negativo es does o es do? Hablando sería doesn't or don't. ¿Cuál de los dos sería para ser el negativo de they? Sería don't. Don't. Ok. Don't. Pero el verbo que nos han puesto no es un verbo mmm, común, digamos, o es, este es un, un verbo especial. El verbo be. Ah, este verbo nos termina de complicar aún más porque tiene su propia forma, ¿verdad? Sí se acuerda, ¿verdad? Aren't, isn't, ¿verdad? I'm uh -huh. not. Entonces, en este caso, vamos a ver, es el to be. Aquí no se usa el do, ¿verdad? Aquí no se usa el do. Entonces, hay muchas cositas eh, que vamos aprendiendo al hacer esto. Entonces, como no es ningún otro verbo diferente de be, entonces tenemos que usar la forma del be. They, el negativo de be para they, ¿cuál es? They are or they aren't. They are, are not or aren't. Ok, correct. Ese es el negativo. Entonces hay que fijarnos qué verbo es, porque si es be, definitivamente no vamos a usar do ni does, ¿verdad? Ni okay. don't, ni doesn't. Eso es lo que hemos estado estudiando en los tiempos que le ha tocado salirse por el internet. <laughs> Parece que le ha quedado este por ahí. Sí, porque la semana pasada sí me afectó bastante. Sí. Ok, vamos a ver este. The West Branches es el sujeto. Y el verbo es not distribute. ¿Cómo sería la forma correcta acá? No alcanzo a ver ahí el verbo, dicho. Not distribute. Esto que está acá. Que lo voy a poner en toda la entre, pantalla. Okay. Okay. Entre paréntesis. Not distribute. Es una... Yo siempre trato de traducirlo. Pero... No traduzca, no traduzca. Veamos the West Branches. Ajá. Es el sujeto. Plural, ¿verdad? Y el verbo es not distribute. ¿Cómo lo escribimos acá? Do or does? Tendría que ser si es plural, sería do. Ok. ¿Y negativo? Que Don. ellos no distribuyen. Uh -huh. Correct. Don't. Distribute. Ay, se me cortan estos bolarillos. Don't distribute. Ok. Y ahí va el uso del don't y el doesn't para lo negativo. Ok. Y para las preguntas igual, mire, do we, what do we, right? Uh, vamos a ver en esta. Esta es con el verbo be, vamos a ver. Esta es más fácil porque ahí no entra el do, porque como es el be, ¿verdad? 
So yeah, it's, it's your. Exactly. Siempre que diga el verbo be, no entra do ni does. A ver. Is your company in the tourism industry? Okay. Veamos la número siete. El sujeto es I. So yeah, I don't. I, I don't, don't see. Excellent. I don't see your point. Excellent. Good. Mm -hmm. Ahora veamos el otro detalle. El detalle es que eso es para negativo y para preguntas. El do y el das como un auxiliar. Pero en una afirmativa solo usamos el verbo. Pero el verbo debe conjugarse, ya sea para singular o para plural, ¿verdad? Entonces, veamos acá. En la número 8. Ahí no vamos a usar do ni does. ¿Por qué? Porque es afirmativa. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿cómo sería la número 8, Julio César? Sería computers, works. Plural o singular, work. Work, así como base, ese es, es plural. Ahora, si yo le agrego la S, es singular. Computers, ¿es plural o singular? Eh, plural. Entonces le quito la S, ¿verdad? Entonces, computers, work. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. ¿Vamos bien hasta ahí, Julio? Sí. Ahora veamos lo que sigue de la oración. Please. Este ya es un imperativo, ¿verdad? ¿Se acuerda la forma del imperativo? No sufre ningún cambio el verbo, ¿verdad? Se mantiene con checks. Exactly. Check. Sin la S, ¿verdad? Y así se va haciendo esta. Veamos la número 9 y la 10. Hágalas usted ahorita. A ver. Sería my family, mi familia, es plural. Sería my family do. Don't. Eat diner early. early. Ok, vamos a comentar esa número 9. La número 9 hablábamos en, en la clase que family es un nombre que es colectivo, ¿verdad? Y usualmente se dice my family is o my family does. Pero... Eh, Existe también, no está incorrecto decirlo así como plural en el inglés británico, ¿ok? Por ahí les mandé un link, no sé si lo recibió, para ese tipo de nombres. Los nombres colectivos. Si va a usar sí. do o si va a usar does, ¿verdad? O si va a usar el verbo en singular o el verbo en plural. Entonces, dele una chequeadita al... Mm, al ¿cómo se llama? Link. <ríe> al artículo ese, sí, ajá. Y entonces eh, se puede decir my family don't, pero my family eh, para nosotros, pues en este caso sería doesn't. Doesn't. Yeah. Doesn't eat early. Okay. Doesn't eat dinner early. Vamos a ver la número 10. The companies to the market. Challenges. No lo traduzca, pues, Julio César. Casi sería el mismo, Ajá. el mismo caso de, de la nueve, ¿verdad? En este caso, tal vez es más fácil eh, company singular, 
y companies es plural. Plural. Uh -huh. Entonces, es un plural, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. En este... Do, do or that. Ahí no usamos do. Eso es lo que decíamos que en la afirmativa solo usamos el verbo, ¿verdad? En la afirmativa. El do y el das es solo para, a, a, para ayudar a decir no y para ayudar a preguntar, ¿verdad? Entonces, big companies adapt. 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 Uh -huh. Solo el verbo sin. Solo el verbo sin do ni okay. das, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver la once. Ahí sería is. A ver, estamos What's un nombre name? o el varios plural. nombres. Ajá. El plural. Ok. Pero si es B, sería. Uh -huh. Sería R. Exactly. Excelente, Julio. Number 12. A ver, haga el number 12. Sería. Business, Apple, uh -huh. marketing in various ways. ways. Excellent. Apply. Apply. Uh -huh. Okay. A ver, number 13. Esa es pregunta, ¿verdad? Exactly. Eh, sería. Es una sería... pregunta como esta, como directa, sin WH, ¿verdad? Sin W. Uh -huh. Sería do. Uh -huh. Do employees uh -huh. new? ¿Cómo sería el verbo si estamos en tiempo presente? New es el pasado. That's past tense. Ahora, el verbo es no. Ahí sí, no, esa parte no. El verbo eh, iría en, en su lista. forma base. No, no, no. Aquí no vamos, no estamos viendo ningún pasado. Este todo es tiempo presente. Entonces no, no hay que conjugarlo para decir new o known, sino que el, el verbo, el verbo es no en verbo no. Eh, en tiempo presente. Entonces, exactamente. Entonces no cambia en este caso, porque como es un plural, ¿verdad? Entonces, bueno, es plural y, o sea singular en este caso. Siempre no iría sí, en la bien. forma base porque como es pregunta, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. okay. Ahora, la 14, veámosla para ver. Usted solito, usted solito, vale, vale. Vamos a ver. Es plural, va. A small business es singular. Solo es un negocio pequeño. This, singular. This. Sería how, how, does, does. Uh -huh. Does. Uh -huh. Survive. Excellent. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Okay. Sí. Hoy está bien bonito ya, ¿verdad? <coughs> Bye. Entonces, en resumen, en resumen, Julio César, utilizamos do para hacer preguntas y para decir oraciones negativas. ¿Cómo lo usamos? El do es para sujetos plurales, ¿verdad? O para I y you. Entonces, le voy a escribir acá que do nos ayuda a preguntar y a ser negativos, ¿verdad? Para I, you, we y they. 
De ello. Uh -huh. Y el das nos ayuda a preguntar o a hacer oraciones negativas o a decir cosas en tiempo presente, pero negativas para cuando se refiere a él, a ella o a esa cosa, ¿verdad? He, it. she, mm -hmm. it. Así sería. Entonces, el negativo es don't y el negativo de tercera persona es does. Yes, ¿Ok? Ahora, volviendo a esto, la interrogativa en este caso sería una doble WH word, ¿ok? Or phrase, ¿ok? Plot, lo voy a poner abajo para que no se nos confunda. ¿okay? Así. Okay. Plus. Do. Okay. Plus. Cualquiera de esos, ¿verdad? I, yeah. you, we, or they. O cualquier otra cosa que, se, que sea eso, ¿verdad? Plus. El verbo en forma base. Plus a complement. ¿Sí? Y que no se nos olvide el question mark, ¿verdad? Okay. Para las preguntas. Esto es para las preguntas de información, ¿verdad? Porque las preguntas de sí y no las hacemos sin la WH, ¿verdad? Las hacemos de aquí para allá, ¿verdad? sin esto. Ahora okay. lo mismo sería para das, ¿verdad? Lo único que en vez de I, you, we, they, sería he, she, it. He, she, it. Y en vez de do, es das. Das, ok. ¿Verdad? Ok. ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? Estamos, de hecho. Ok. ¿Tiene alguna otra pregunta? Do you have any other question? Por el momento, estamos, de hecho. Ok, great. Mm -hmm. and, and see you tomorrow. Have a good rest. Ok. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good okay. night. Ok, good night. Bye.